It's pretty entertaining to ask ChatGPT to rewrite the Barbie movie in the tone of Jerry Seinfeld, but if you wanna use ChatGPT in a more professional way, you'll need to do things differently. So here are four ChatGPT hacks that will make your life easier and help you customize AI for your specific marketing needs. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Marketing and Creator Tools. So the most challenging part about AI is making it sound like it isn't AI. Who wants to read a blog post or email that sounds like it was written by R2D2 trying to get a mark Marketing degree. If you go to ChatGPT and ask it to write a blog post, you'll quickly realize that it sounds nothing like you. So the secret? Train AI on your previous data. Most AI tools are trained on a giant collection of data, so its responses are extremely broad. There are two easy ways to do this. For our first method, we'll use ChatGPT. Tell it you want it to analyze your text and to hold off on giving an output until specified. For example, let's say I want to write a blog. I'll go to my blog, which you can check out at AI Marketing and Creator Tools. Com. I'll copy the text and paste it into ChatGPT. I'll usually input two or three blogs to give it a sense of my style. This might seem time consuming, but it actually cuts way down on your editing time. Once I'm ready, I'll give ChatGPT my prompt for what I want it to write about, and I'll tell it to use the text I provided and respond in a similar style. Then let your brain come in and do what it does best. Bring in your experience in the field, plus your knowledge of how you talk and write, and make it, well, you. The second way to do this is my personal favorite. We use an AI tool called Jasper AI, which is the number one AI tool used by marketers. We featured it on this channel a lot because our entire team uses it the most out of any tool we pay for. Jasper's memorization ability prevents you from having to repeat yourself every time you use it. You essentially train the AI with your own data and voice, and once it knows how you sound when you write, it does a really good job of writing in your voice. Pavlov, meet Jasper. To use it, just input your own writing samples from blogs or social media posts, emails, and more into the brand voice feature. Once it's been trained, you can start using it to generate content that sounds like you wrote it yourself. It works just like ChatGPT, but the main difference is that your data is always saved. Whenever you ask a question, all you have to do is select a brand voice from the drop-down menu. I inputted a section from this script I wrote for our last video and asked Jasper to write a new 500-word script about how to use AI for copywriting in my voice. The result was pretty accurate, and as it gets to know you better, the subsequent generations will continue to improve. Want to learn more about Jasper? Click the link in the description to see our full tutorial and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be the first to know when we drop new videos. But if you don't want to cough up $39 a month to use Jasper, you can still teach AI to sound just like you with free tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard. Just copy paste previous scripts into the chatbot and ask it to analyze your text. Instruct it to give outputs in the same style and you should get some decent results. I tried it with the same script I gave Jasper and it felt like I was the one who wrote wrote it, so I only had to make some minor edits. And if you're curious about how much time I actually save on tasks like writing, check out my new video where I used AI every day for a week. While I mentioned that ChatGPT has to be fed data for every conversation, it's taking steps to improve in this area, with the first one being custom instructions. Custom instructions let you share any information for ChatGPT to consider when responding. For example, you can tell ChatGPT your name, where you work, and your field, the tone you want your responses to be generated in, and your target audience. Speaking of which, comment below the marketing niche you work in. We'd love to hear what you do so that we can make videos tailored to your needs. So for me, I would tell ChatGPT that I write scripts for a YouTube channel called AI Marketing and Creator Tools, as well as blogs for our website, and I make content about how to help marketers with their daily tasks. I would tell the chatbot that I write in a casual but informative tone, give lots of examples, and request that answers be concise and engaging. Ask the bot to remember these things about you and to answer all of your future questions with these requirements in mind, or like however close a robot can get to having a mind. This hack has saved my entire team a ton of time because we're not constantly having to tell it to make the same changes over and over again, like rewrite that to be more engaging, or condense the 10,000 page dissertation I literally didn't ask for into one paragraph. We'll leave some custom instructions that you can copy and paste into ChatGPT down in the description. Since I know you're already excited about boosting your productivity with ChatGPT, check out our video about our favorite plugins for marketing tasks, and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to use ChatGPT to its full potential. Every great chatbot generation starts with an even greater prompt, which is why prompts are a crucial area to customize AI. Prompts are the instructions you give chatbots to get the best results, but coming up with intricate prompts every time you want to generate content can be challenging, and if you have your go-to prompts already, 
it's annoying to try and remember where you found them in the first place. That's where the Monica AI Chrome extension comes in. It helps you build and access a prompt library in just a few clicks. Monica uses ChatGPT for its responses, so it's like ChatGPT on the go. With Monica, you can save your favorite prompts and reuse them over and over without having to waste time recreating them. To build a prompt library in Monica, simply click the extension icon in your Chrome toolbar and select Prompt Library. From there, you can create new prompts, edit existing ones, and organize them into folders. Once you've created your prompt library, you can access it from anywhere on the web since it exists as a browser extension. Just browse your library and pick the one you want. Monica will automatically insert the prompt into the text box so you can start generating right away. For example, if you write a lot of marketing headlines for a skincare company's product launches, you could ask Monica to save the prompt, generate a list of engaging and entertaining headlines that are 8 to 10 words, and capture potential buyers of my natural skincare brand. This is for our new moisturizer product launch geared toward a middle age to older audience. It'll remember this prompt, and when you have a different product launch in the future, you can go back and ask it to generate more headlines just with a different product and audience demographic. And if you're looking for the best AI Chrome extensions to unlock your full potential, check out our new video with our top picks. Now, I want you to imagine getting a Slack message every time someone comments in a Google Doc without having to learn and write the code to make that happen. That's where Zapier comes in. It's a no-code automation platform that lets you connect different apps and services together. Zapier can be used to automate tasks across a wide range of departments, including sales, onboarding, HR, technical support, content, video, PR, social media, engineering, accounting, and revenue operations. And it's using ChatGPT to get the job done. All you have to do is tell Zapier in plain English what you want to do. You can even use ChatGPT inside Zapier to write the content you'll be sending, so it's all completely automated by AI. It's really that simple. No computer science or software engineering school needed. Thank God, since I already spent six figures on a media studies degree. Yeah. So what was your favorite hack from this video? Let us know in the comments. I'm always looking for new ways to automate my tasks and save time, so I'm excited to hear what you think. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.